I am Evan Krell, a student in the Geospatial Computer Science PhD program at Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Here I am presenting our AI2ES work related to forecasting coastal fog using deep learning. The port of Corpus Christi is one of the largest in the nation. It experiences a large economic impact from the fog. We are working with Wayland Collins from the National Weather Service to develop a fog forecasting model called FogNet to meet the needs of local stakeholders, both marine and air. Accurate fog predictions could be used to strategically operate vehicles to increase both safety and efficiency. Suppose it is known that there will be significant fog in six hours. The ship could slow down, saving fuel, and timing it just right to arrive after the fog has dissipated. On the top left, you can see a graphic of the fog net input feature. This is a raster with a 32 by 32 spatial grid for each Metocean variable and up to 384 channels for 24 hour forecasts. We developed a 3D convolutional neural network where spatial convolution occurs along the spatial and channel-wise data elements to learn 3D features. This is useful when the adjacency between channels has meaningful information. With FogNet, adjacent bands may be the same variable at different time steps or at different pressure levels. So we use 3D convolution to learn spatiotemporal features associated with fog. Part of the challenge is the high data set imbalance. I'm currently speaking from Monterey, California, where coastal fog is a near daily occurrence. But for our study region, we have relatively few fog cases in the training data, which is a machine learning challenge. Much of the complexity of the FogNet architecture, shown at top right, is due to this imbalanced data set problem. The bottom right figure shows the FogNet model with 3D convolution compared to 2D CNNs, where the conventional CNNs struggled to reliably learn prediction strategies. Part of trustworthy AI is understanding how the model makes its decisions. Do these align with domain expertise? We applied variants of Shapley-based explainable AI techniques. Based on game theory, these methods calculate the contribution of each feature toward the model's decision. On the right, darker red means that the feature at that spatial location contributed toward the decision. So for a hit case, red regions lead the model toward predicting fog, while blue mean that the region was leading the model output away, that is, toward not having fog. The plot on the left is the shack values for the seven channels in each outcome. The green X corresponds to the airport at Mustang Island, the location of the fog and not fog target class. We are working with meteorologist Wayland Collins to analyze these results. Preliminary findings suggest that the model is focusing mostly on the area immediately around the airport where we initially expected to see more influence from the offshore winds. Based on this, we are now working on a new architecture completely focused on data near the target to compare performance. Maybe we can build a more efficient model that is easier to train and using a less complex input. We expect our continued explainable AI analysis to provide further model insights to help us strategize toward model improvements.